พุทธังสรนังคัจฉามิธรรมังสรนังคัจฉามิสังขังสรนังคัจฉามิสเปนเดอะเซคันเดย์สอินดิสลุมปินีเดอะเบิร์ดเพลสอัพลอดบุตา you can see that now the villages the government of Nepal is putting a lot of Focus to recreate this place, a spiritual place, and to bless the world. The Lord Buddha, the name Buddha means light. So this is a place where light emerges from the ground. It means that light. From the whole universal domain, it's being noticed some 2,600 years ago by human intellect, human eyes, human feeling, and human ego. Luckily, we still have preserved the spot where we can always remember that our species is of light. Buddha or light is beyond conceptual, beyond any human understanding or concept. It's the direct experience of the experiencer, experiencing, and experience. That's how much you can or we can put in words. Still, it's beyond words. You know yourself when you gain that light. In at Lumpini, yesterday I was walking with some Etipiso mantra. I feel uplifting. I feel good. So I share this with my human friends <laughs> around the world. I hope you all come and visit my channel, Dharma Living, so we can vibrate. It is so of bliss in our own awareness. I had a vision about how to share with you today the full levels of life. Which you probably have heard it before, but we just have to remind each other again and again. The gross level, which everyone knows, the level of the senses: the eyes, the ear, the nose, the mouth, the touch. That's five channels come from five elements, which we are very familiar with, and all the scientific. Study. They also want to know where these five elements come from. They come from the sixth taste. We taste. We smell. We feel. And then the sixth taste come from this three element called the ego, the mind, and the intellect. That create the second levels of our. Life, we feel, we visualize, we remember things. That's the second level of life. Deeper than that, the third level is very sublime level because you don't deal with your ego, your mind, intellect. So you, you become existence. You, you become pure existence. We call celestial level. It's there in you. You just know how to how to find out, and you just have to learn how to lift that veil, unbound the freedom of pure consciousness. Celestial is more more you than the senses, more you than the intellect and the ego, because that's where you come from. And yet, you are not aware of it. 
celestial is very uh, sublime and because then your perception when you live this uh, celestial life your perception become unbounded your appreciation deeper than the taste or the sight or the hearing or the smell or the touch it become more the word celestial mean almost like divine you feel the divine, you taste the divine food, you hear the divine the sound, you smell the divine in the, in the smell, and you touch the divine from your touch like that. Children, children who are born from a very pure family, they have immediately experienced that. So become children, that means become more simple, simple, simple as innocence. And then the absolute level, the fourth level, is the ultimate the unified value of everything we call unity, consciousness, or knowledge, or faith, or atma gyan, brahma gyan, whatever name you call. In Buddhism, it's like sunyata, emptiness. Bodhisattva is that level. So I just want to share with you every day some experience, some feeling, some perceptive reality. If you have any question, please write to me on the email or go to my channel and absorb the depth of the wisdom. I wish you all peace with them. Your individual, your individual peace is where the world peace is. Be peace of yourself. Very good, very good.